Shut up and take my money. All right guys, I just caught this little bait fish. We're gonna throw him on and use him as live bait. If I can get a hook through him. I'm gonna try to catch something big. I've been trying to catch bait fish for a while and I finally got one, but this is all messed up. We're gonna let the current take this down under the bridge and see if there's any monsters hiding under there. This may not work, or maybe we found the money spot because there are tons of bait fish around here and typically, you know, obviously those big predatory fish are gonna go after the bait fish. So this may work. All right, so we just got another one of those bait fish. He was a little bit bigger. I went and filled up the bait bucket with water. We put them in there. We're gonna keep trying to catch some more. Not sure what exactly these fish are. They kind of look like shad. But I don't know if they have shad here exactly. I think I'm getting another one. I had another one. That was something bigger. Got another fish. What we might do is take some of these bait fish back, back to the, the river spot and try to use them there. I mean, that's basically what they look like. They look kind of like shad or something. I'm, like I said, I don't know what exactly they are. I don't think they're mullet. They're definitely not mullet. They may be some type of shad, but I'm not 100% certain. I'm already getting one. But I think we found the spot. Oh, there he goes. That would have been number four. Now it's just instantly, they're so thick in there. There's so many millions of them. And right as I say that, I stop getting bites. We doubled up and one of them fell off. Oh, this is a different one. Look at that. I think that's some sort of mackerel or something. Interesting. That's like technically our seventh species of the trip. We're gonna catch a bunch more, probably mostly off camera and then try and catch some bigger fish, but that's a good start. It's pretty loud with all these cars, so I don't know how well you can hear me. I'm gonna check that other pole. See if that fish is still on there and then probably switch out to one of the bigger fish that I caught. But I forgot to mention we're at some, it's supposedly a spillway. It's on, I believe the Indian River in central Florida. And there's, I think it's a park or something, but there's plenty of dock spaces to fish and places on the bank. I mean, this area is just absolutely loaded with bait fish, which is a good sign. This is the first place we've gone today. Like I said, day four. Last full day at the International Waterway place, the beach house. I still haven't done a tour of that yet. Hopefully I do, I don't know if I will, but it's it's a really nice place. And then we're going to go, I believe, to Cocoa Beach and maybe somewhere else for the next, the remainder of our trip. So I'm just gonna leave this right here and go check this other pole. I had a huge takedown on the live bait pole. I was looking at it and it just slammed over. Uh, I gotta see if my bait's still on there. If not, that fish could be. That was gnarly. He 
he's still on there. Well, that's a good sign. I was starting to think it wasn't gonna work. All right, we're just gonna try to keep catching bait fish, but that was awesome. That was a big fish, not some little bait fish. I got something. Just about to check my pole and I looked over and it's just something decent. My reel's not working super well, but this is the biggest fish of the trip. That's, oh no! No! Ah, oh, that was such a nice fish on the live bait. He, he spit the hook, but I hope you guys saw that. That was awesome. That didn't take very long at all right after I moved it. So we're gonna do that again, cast it out right in that spot. But damn, that was a nice fish. And we got even bigger bait fish to use, but uh, I'm really happy I got to fight a fish like that. But I hope you guys saw that thing jumping. It was it was a nice fish. I'm gonna recast that, but it was just to the right of that. I had it out there for maybe maybe two minutes. When I saw that fish, it was probably 18 inches. It was a nice fish. It was right about in there. We're gonna keep jigging, and uh, if that was really the spot, they should be back. We should be able to get one pretty soon. That was awesome. It's one of the hardest fighting fish I've found in a while, too. Took into something bigger on the bait rig. What is that? Oh, this looks like a. I know what these are called. I think this is a Jack, uh, Jack Travali, a Jack Craval, something like that. That's what they look like. Listen to that grunt. I gotta be careful because I have my phone. So, here he is. I believe you can eat these guys when they get bigger and I think they're good eating, but. Hard fighting fish. Awesome. And it looked like I had a hit on the bait pole before this, but I'm not sure, so. We'll keep grinding it out, trying to catch more fish, but I didn't expect to catch a fish that big on the bait rod, so that's cool. We got another fish on. I thought I saw my pole moving. We finally got one on live bait. I think it was the same fish that I lost earlier. I think we got him this time, though. I don't think he's quite as big as the last one, but he's close. Still a good, oh, no! He came off again. Oh, they keep coming off the hook. I gotta say, that was a nice fish. I'm not sure what it was, but that thing fought hard. Not as hard as the last one, but close. We're gonna try and catch another one. Got another one. That was not much later. I'm not sure what this is. This might be different. Oh, uh, my reel is all messed up. It's so, getting so hard to reel. That's a different fish, I believe. And that wasn't out there a minute. I'm not sure what this is. I believe that's a blue fish. Yeah, if, if I'm correct, this is a bluefish. One of the fish I wanted to catch, but as you can see, I hooked him perfectly in the mouth, right in the corner. I'm sure he's too small to keep, but look at those teeth. He doesn't have super sharp teeth, but little bluefish right there. Stop. And if you guys know what these fish are and I'm identifying them wrong, I'm not from around here, like I said, but biggest fish of the day, biggest fish of the trip, there he goes. Yes. All right, guys, we just caught that fish. That was a blue fish. That was one of the fish that I had wanted to catch that I actually kind of forgot about. But that one literally only took like a minute. And uh, I thought I was going to lose it after I lost those other two. But the reality is, is from what I can tell, 
bluefish have to be at least 12 inches and I'm pretty sure that was past 12. So if we catch another one, that size or bigger, we'll probably keep it if it's over 12. I was reeling up and uh, apparently I have something on here. Oh look, mangrove snapper. This is a good size one, but I don't think he's 12 inches. But man, look at the colors on that guy. What a beautiful fish. All right, back he goes. Essentially what happened was uh, we fished for a while after we caught that bluefish, didn't get anything. So we went to the bait and tackle store and got us some regulations. And it turns out that bluefish have to be 12 inches to keep. And I'm pretty sure that that was more than 12 inches. So I tried to catch another one and we haven't gotten anything since until we switched sides, came over to this side of the bridge and then caught that mangrove snapper while reeling it in. So this has been one of the best spots that I've fished so far but it looks like most of the big fish that were over on that side, the schools have moved out. But from what I heard, people fished this last night and caught buckets full of fish. So we're gonna keep fishing both sides for a while and see what we can do and if we can get dinner. I went to step on the storm drain and there's this giant frog in here. I don't know how well you can see him or if you can see him, but he's right below. I'm not even sure what kind of frog that is, but I've seen just about every species so far. Oh, look at that. We got a triple, guys. I had another fish on. That was big or fairly big and uh, he came off, but these three guys are still on there. So I'm gonna go grab the bait bucket. We caught a lot more bait than this. I just haven't filmed it because the bite died down on not only these bait fish, but the bigger fish. But now we got more bait, so we should have plenty. way bigger than the one I saw the other day. Is that a peacock? There goes one right behind us. 